What's up guys, Triple C here. Welcome to my next tutorial. This is tutorial number 23. And in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to get props in the winner screen, like you see in these animations right here in the background. Now this is pretty tricky. Well, not really tricky, but fidgety to get it exactly right, to get them exactly at the right spot where you want to have them. So um, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. By the way, um, how I first learned about this was PD Pan Mofo. He's got a great tutorial on this too. I'll link it down there in the description. Go check it out. Also check out his other tutorials. Um, what I did in here, I kind of came up with a way how to make it more easy on yourself, how to get the props exactly where you want to have them, because it is very fidgety to get them exactly at the places you want to have them, because you're basically working blind on this. So yeah, let's jump right into it, guys, and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so I'll first show you guys where this window screen garage is. It's located under the map, and it's exactly here. Hold up. If you look on the mini map. Um, the window screen garage is exactly, basically, with this square here, roughly. About here. So I'll show you exactly where the camera um, angle is going to be. It's going to be on the other side here. Oh wait, we'll just switch over with the checkpoints to make it easier. We'll cycle back to that checkpoint. Okay, so now where I'm standing right now is exactly where the camera will be on the winner screen. I'll show you guys on the mini-map. This here is exactly where the camera is on the winner screen and it'll be facing a bit diagonally up in this direction here, facing this way. So next step I'll show you guys how to place props there and how to get them to line up. Alright guys, so before we jump into um, how to place the props down there and get them exact, I'll quickly uh, explain the main concept of how you're going to make this easy on yourself. So what I did here, I built a template job where I figured it all out. I mean, this took a while, I had to readjust again and again and again, test it again and again and, and online to see that the props line up exactly perfectly. But uh, do that, just build yourself a template job, we just place the props here, I've got it all exactly mapped out. Like the ramp, for example, is exactly where the car will stand also from the angle then I got a small sign here it's really hard to see between the plants that's exactly where the winner will stand and then I got two props to the right and the left of the winner and some surrounding props and like I said this will take a while to figure out because you got to replace them go in online test your race again and again um, but once you get this figured out and you got them exactly at the right locations, you're going to publish the job and then you're going to go on Creator, go on Save Jobs and you're going to make yourself 10 copies of that job. So for your following builds, for your future builds, all you got to do basically is exchange the props every time, you know, because you, all, you got it all mapped out basically. So just exchange the props and start building your job from there. Um, one more thing before I jump into this, uh, which will happen to you when you, when you mess around with this. Um, if you zoom in too far, you're going to lose your view. Like, so now I zoomed in, I lost my view, I'm working totally blind, there's no chance I'm lining anything up now. To get your view back when this happens, you have to respawn, which in creator mode equals um, doing a test. So just do a quick test of your race and then go back to view back again. Okay, so now I'll show you guys how to get them exactly there, how to get under the map and how to line them up. Alright guys, so what you do is uh, build yourself a small race, what I did here, you, um, to be able to test it online. So basically what you want to do is you want to fulfill the m minimum requirements to be able to test it online. You do not have to publish it. You can play unpublished jobs online if you fulfill minimum requirements, which is set a lobby camera, give it a title, give it a description, make a photo, doesn't matter what it is, and have a minimum distance on races. Um, now I got the minimum distance here, I just built a straight track. It's point to point, starts here, just goes straight down. It'll be over in 20 seconds and online, and then I can view the winner screen when I test it with a friend or alone. So <clears throat> just do that real quick. Uh, then go under the map. Um, it used to always be the windmill, it used to be that location. Um, when I built my crab slide TSL, I by accident discovered this wall breach here because actually, uh, if you guys know the race, it uh, takes you in crab slide up around this area back here. And the stunt wasn't finished yet, you know, I was just testing it when it was uh, not finished to see if it generally works. And it was leading this direction, you know, I always fell in this crevice here. And I just glitched through those windows down there. If you look here, this whole row of windows 
is not solid, you know? Like the whole length of the building, this whole row of windows, it's probably the biggest wall breach in the game. So I'll show you guys exactly where it is on the map by going top down. Now if I zoom in, it's exactly here, this, this building here. The whole row of windows is not solid. So um, easiest to glitch through these always is, is if you're in photo mode. So go to race details, go on photo, and now go towards the windows and just go through there. Okay, now we're traveling under the map. Wait, see, we're, now we're traveling towards Legion Square where that location is. I showed it earlier in the tutorial. It's always easiest to travel under the map when you're in photo mode because you see exactly where you are. If you're in placement, everything's flashing and you don't have any sense of how high you are because you just don't have any reference, you know? So um, when you're traveling under the map, always go to photo mode to see exactly where you are. Now go to that location that I showed you guys under the police station here. And now you're actually going to switch to placement props and now um, have exactly top down view. Just adjust your camera that you're looking exactly top down. And oh yeah, wait, 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 that was at the wrong location. So it's right here. Yeah, now we got it to appear. Okay, signs, I'll go um, one to the right from diversion sign to right Chevron road sign. And as you saw earlier, exactly where the location is, what we're going to do now, we're exactly on top down view. I'm going to first find the corner of, of the area where you're allowed to place. So I'm going to the right until my uh, marker drops. Okay, now dropped. Now I'm going a bit to the left again till it reappears. Okay, now I'm exactly at the right corner where I can place. Now I'm going down to see where we drop. Wait, now I'm going up again, a bit to the left. So exa I'm basically just finding exactly the corner of, uh, of, of the area where we are allowed to place props just by going right and left and up and down till I fall down and come back up. So now I pretty much got the corner of the area where we are allowed to place props. I'm placing a right chevron road sign here just for my own reference. Okay, now I place this one. Now we cycle over to cabins. Just use this one to measure it out, basically. And take the security hut. Where is it? The security hut. Okay, now we're going to rotate that a bit. Okay, now you still see this very small dot here. That's my right Chevron road sign. It just appears sometimes and disappears again. Now I rotated um, the security hut this way. Now I'm going to place it. It's just for reference. I measured this out for you guys. And now basically the camera is going to be a bit above this middle line of the security hut here. So now if we take another prop, I'll just take, oh yeah, I'll show you guys with the plants because that's also neat when we see the plants moving. There's actually two plants which move. Uh, they also move in water. You can place these plants in water, it'll have the same effect. Somehow this area has some kind of properties which also the water has. It's uh, the round gray planter, it's this dancing plant here. So we just place this to the right here. It's about this distance, what I'm showing you guys here, to the security hut. And if you cycle one to the left, you got the potted palm. That one also goes up and down now. It's pretty neat. So now we're going to place that one here. And uh, in the middle of these two plants should be the winner somewhere. So just place a small sign here. Wait, let's go over here. Diversion sign. Okay, now it's not allowing me to place because I'm too close to the palm. So just allow prop stacking and you'll be able to place it here. Uh, not the diversion sign. We'll take a, a different one. We'll take this one. And now what I did with the ramps, just place a ramp about here. You know, I'm just guessing now where it is. You know, that's the thing what I meant with rinse and repeat. Go into online, test the race online, see where the props are. Now here should be the car somewhere. And make yourself some sur surrounding props. We'll just take containers here now. We'll just place them here. And here. Okay, now I'm falling off. And here. All right, so now you got your first um, go, and you'll probably not have it right. You know, they'll, uh, you're, you're not going to have a very good view. If you're lucky, consider yourself lucky because it can take so many tries until you get it exactly right, you know. And uh, our camera will be about 
here what i showed you on the map it'll be about here so once you got that place done you don't need the security hut anymore you don't need the small chevron road sign now you have your first draft of your of your template basically so um just try it out an online test this template race what you build online and see um, where the camera is if it lines up make yourself a screenshot of the winner screen so you see what doesn't line up when you go back in the creator you can just move the plants around a bit take it a bit to the front back right left wherever it needs to be for for you to have the view exactly right uh, now I'll quickly show you guys how to get explosions in there go to um dynamic props wait where are we dynamic and take the explosive barrel and now as you see it'll place on the ground here just pick it up again and now hit L3 continuously until you move up and uh, that worked right away, you know, but sometimes you'll have to press L3 uh, a, a couple of times. Once you're up here, press R3 again, so it places on the ground and now just tip L3 once. I mean, that's the uh, minimum distance um, you, you can have for a falling barrel, basically. You can also work with templates, get it further down, but that's a bit more advanced. And now just place it up here in the air. Now, descend it again with R3 if you want to have a second one. Just always tip it. And uh, now if you want to have one falling where the car is, for example. Now, L3 again. Tip it in. Now it's up here. Place it. If you want to go down again, you can add as many as you want, basically. you know. And uh, then just go into online. If you want to test your explosions, it will not work if you test it alone. Falling barrels only trigger if you are two people in the job. Uh, keep that in mind, because... <laughs> Um, you will just always try again and again. They do not fall when you're alone for some reason. So if you want to test your explosions, always have a friend in there or invite some, just hit auto invite, get somebody in there with you. Otherwise the explosion will not trigger, the barrels will stay up in the air. Um, what also happens, wait, I'll quickly, um, quickly show you guys. If you build your race around this area, if, you, if your cars pass over here, it will trigger the explosive barrels already and then in the winner screen you will not have explosions so if you want to have explosions in the winner screen watch out that your race is not in this area because once you get close to this area boom your barrels fall during the race you even hear an explosion during the race and once you're at the winner screen um everything's blown up already you know so um uh, if you want to have the explosions just stay clear of this area here okay so now basically what you got to do um save your race wait you would just hit save now um go into online test it with your friends and then uh, see how everything lines up basically and that's basically it that's the whole trick already i'll quickly do it i'm not saving this because i, I, I obviously i'm not exactly right here now but you guys got the message wait we'll just exit here and i'll uh, show you a test with my template race how it all lined up in that one all right, guys, so now we're in the template job. We're testing it online. It's not published yet. I just got one guy in here from my crew also. Uh, so we're just going to quickly give it a test and, um, and, and run through it. And we're going to look where the props are in the winner screen. Now, remember, um, I got this mapped out exactly already, but this is how you would, you would work with this, you know? So this is a very short race, like I told you guys, just 20 seconds, just for testing purposes. We're just looking where the props are, and then we're going to uh, readjust them to, until we get them exactly right. And like I said, it will take you some time, you know, to figure it out perfectly. Okay, so I'm in the bad I should win this here. Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm just driving a straight line here. Right. also with the explosions it's a bit random sometimes when they fall it depends on when the winner screen loads in for the first person i think because it doesn't load in exactly at the same time for everybody you know so sometimes the barrels will not fall at all sometimes they fall early you know okay and as you see um sign in the middle um plants right and left and then we got the ramp where the car is and the other uh, containers in the background you know uh, make a screenshot of it because uh, first time doing this your props will not line up perfectly you know so make yourself a screenshot so you can readjust it when you're back in creator um and yeah that's basically how you go about it you know just uh, do it again and again and again until you get them right 
Uh, once you got them right, publish the job, make yourself 10 copies of that published job. Now you can also take the published job, you can delete it again once you got 10 copies, and then just work from there, you know? Then every time you're building a race, just work with that template, and uh, basically just got to exchange the props, you know? And once you got published races where you got different kinds of props in the window screen, you can also make copies of those jobs, of course, and just go from there, you know? They can also reuse other templates that you used in that jobs already. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I could help out. Uh, like I said, also check out PDPAM Mofo. I'm linking him down there in the description. Um, sh show us what you came up with in the window screen, you know? I saw some really, really funny ones. Also the one in the intro from Up for example with the robot in the background you know you can also work with templates that's what he did there he just built a robot above ground basically and then took it down in the window screen you know you can get do some real creative stuff with this you know by the way this also works for death matches and LTSs you know where you got a big group of people standing down there so yeah like I said hope you guys enjoyed it um, that was the tutorial on how to put props in the window screen uh, we'll see what we do in the next tutorial check you guys in the next tutorial I'm out peace